that's what you saw. What is this? Okay, what I saw was when the cop and Michael were like wrestling through the window. It looked as if Michael was pushing off and the cop was trying to pull him in. Then the cop sh shot a fire through the window. Michael breaks away and he starts running away from the officer. The officer gets out of his vehicle and pursues Michael as he's shooting his weapon. Michael jerks his body as if he was hit. Then he turns around, faces the officer, and puts his hands up. And the officer continues to shoot him until he goes down to the ground. So, okay. Tiffany, let me, let me ask you this, though, because the video that we have up, this is, we talk, you and I talked earlier about after and the dad. Is this the, we believe this is the father in the video. So there's a police officer walking up here that you're looking at. Yeah, okay. And that, this is the father. We believe he's going to the body. That's what's blurred. Okay, in. that's his uncle that's walking up his to uncle, the, okay. yes. So what, explain to us what happened. Okay, whenever his uncle walked up to him to try to see if that was him because everybody in the neighborhood was telling him that his nephew was shot, um, he tried to walk up and see if that was him and then the officers immediately run to him and tell him to get back behind the tape. And, and he'd ask, that's I'm what, sorry. Sorry, that's what we're looking at right now. And so they were trying to go to the body and the family members were being blocked. Yes. PJ, you got, did you get a better... Um, did, did you get a better, were you uh, able to see better of what happened, the, the confrontation in the car and the shooting? Um, well, when I first looked out of my window, it was because Tiffany was calling me to come down. You know, we were on our way to work. So I have, my video isn't from that time, but I actually saw with my own eyes, the starting with the confrontation at the window. It just looked like it was a tussle, it was some struggle going on. I couldn't really tell really from my angle, but then I saw the police just get out and take some poor force and down the street and shoot them down. And you said when you saw this out your window, when you say you saw a tussle at the window, do you mean that Michael Brown was outside of the police car and the policeman was inside the police car and they were sort of arm wrestling through the window? Or what yes, ma'am. Okay. I mean, like he was out on uh, Michael Brown, I mean, sorry, Michael was outside of the police car and the police was inside and just seemed like he was just trying to it was just some kind of Michael trying to get away really quickly and the police wouldn't let him. So did, then, did you ever I heard the shots fired. Did you ever see a moment where Michael was in the police car? No, ma'am. Because that's the police are saying that there is in the police car and there's a tussle inside the, the police car. And at no time, and I know that you weren't there from the very beginning, PJ uh, or Tiffany, but at no time did you see Michael Brown in the car? No, no. not at all. At all. And in your estimation, he was trying to get away. John, one other important thing that uh, perhaps these young ladies aren't, aren't saying is there, there was a, you look at the video, there was a good deal of distance between where the officer uh, fired at uh, Michael Brown and, uh, you know, where he was hit and where the officer was. I mean, he was, I think, well away from the officer, is my understanding, from looking at the video and, okay. and talking to him. He was really far away from the vehicle whenever the fatal shot was fired. DJ, did you ever see a moment where it looked as if Michael Brown was reaching for the officer's gun? No, I couldn't, I couldn't see that closely from my balcony. I could actually see the opposite side of the car, but he was outside of the car and it just looked like a struggle was going on. And the police actually shot kind of carelessly. They shot um, my neighbor's building that was on the opposite side of the police car. And they then later came and moved that bullet. So anybody could have been standing right there. Did you, how do you guys feel about the response from the police department from, I mean, this is, this is your area, your town, St. Louis, Ferguson, uh, I, I think, PJ, you live in North County, right, which is where yeah. Ferguson is, and you live in St. Louis County, correct, Tiffany? I live in St. Louis City. You live in the city I feel like it's very unfair. If he was trying to get away from him, why did he continue to shoot at him? Exactly. I, I still don't get that part at all. Like, why would he trying to get away from the officer. And even when he turned around and put his arms in the air, he was being overkilled and shot multiple times. How far away did he get from the police car? Oh, he ran a good 20 feet down the street. Yeah, it was a ways. And if you can look at the vehicle, um, I'm sorry, if you can look at the photo, he was way behind the vehicle whenever he was fatally shot. And he was facing the officer with his hands up whenever he went down. Uh, PJ, that first shot that you heard, did that come from the police car? Yes, ma'am. And could you tell who fired that first shot? Oh, well, 
I, when I looked out the window, I saw the original hustle going on. I quickly just turned around, grabbed my purse, tried to go to to the other window. And at that time, it was over with. I heard the shots fired, and I saw the hole with the building in it, and Michael was running down the street at that time. So. All right, guys. Uh, we really appreciate you um, coming on, on CNN, Tiffany Piaget, and also Peter. Boy, uh, you, you guys are really composed considering what you witnessed. And again, it, it's, it's, we're glad that you're here, and we hope that there's peace and there's calm in your town. And if you guys want to come back and talk to us, we'll have you anytime. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. really Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's that moment that is the missing portion of this. What mm -hmm. happened in the what police car? What was that tussle about? Yes, yeah. and who had the gun? Mm -hmm. When we come right back, we're going to have more breaking news. Yeah, tear gas fired at protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. Another night of unrest after that shooting death of Michael Brown. We'll bring you the latest.